Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, we're doing Operation Maid Watch. Gonna watch a lady clean, I guess. For some reason, I don't know what Mishima's thinking, but better get to it. I heard the pollen is really bad this year. Are you okay? You seriously look like a criminal if you had one of those allergy masks to go along with your cool gla- What are you saying? What? What? Uh? So we're executing Maid Watch tonight for sure, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. The option says heck yeah, but I'm rather disinterested. Sweet. Wait, you already changed out of your uniform? I guess that's a good idea. Hmm. We're meeting over at Sakamoto's place, right? Let's stop by mine beforehand so I can change too. <sighs> Bro. Whatever. Just get this over with. So, we're really gonna do this, huh? You think it'll be okay? Uh, probably. <laughs> Operation Maid Watch! Bro! <laughs> uh, yeah, Operation Maid Watch. Well, it turns out to be sketch. We can just bail, you know. The apartment's vacant, so it's not like we'll be messing with anyone's home. Yeah, just the property owners, but pff, screw them. Genius maneuver, Ryuji. A victimless crime. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> to think, Sakamoto has a brain. Mishima, be nice. But if that's the case, then... Then? <laughs> yep. What? Yeah. Okay, give him a call. Why do I have to do it? Okay. Sure thing, boys. One maid coming right up. Yes. Thank you for calling. This is Victoria's housekeeping. <laughs> uh, he answered! Apparently you can hear it. <laughs> Guess we're on speaker. Shh! I take it you're interested in, uh, services then, eh? Uh, services? Is there anyone in particular you'd like to request? Uh, can't say there is. Anyone we want to request? Uh, what should we do? Uh, seriously, just send anybody. As long as they have a mop, they're qualified. <laughs> Very well. Let's see here. Yeah. We'll have a maid over in your place in 20 minutes. May I ask for the address? Uh, yeah, Ryuji, cough it up. Whoa. Crap. This is really happening, man. A uh, maid services. Wow. A hey, what should we have her do? I was thinking we start with some cooking. Of course, I wouldn't mind the other services either. Should we hold a strategy meeting to discuss? What? They said 20 minutes, right? Oh boy. Uh, I, I gotta use the restroom. Alright. Whatever you're saying. It's almost time. You were in there for a while. Are you okay? Hey, did you wash your hands? Uh, oh, who, who, what? Who, me? Uh, you're really nervous, huh? <laughs> uh, are high school students even allowed to use this type of service? Oh my god! Uh, huh? What are you talking about? What? What do you mean? Huh? You should have researched it, okay? What, what if they find out who we are? Uh, they'll get repeat customers? Uh, how should I know? But why would how old you are matter when it comes to housekeeping? Yeah, Ryuji's got a point. Ooh, we should have been screwed if your number's showing up on the caller ID. Uh, oh. Good evening. I'm from the housekeeping service. She's here. Huh? Uh, already? She's five minutes early! Holy g- What do we do? I'm not mentally prepared. Oh, the door's unlocked. May I come in? I can't do this, man. My stomach's acting up and- uh, My hands are all sweaty. Uh, oh, my bad, man. Okay, you handle the rest. Don't let her find out you're a high school student, okay? I've got your back. Just from way back. Like from the balcony. Uh, what? what? I can't do this either. Hey, 
we'll leave it to you. All right, no prob. Ryuji and Mishima fled to the balcony. For some reason, uh, excuse me. Oh, there you are. Welcome home, master. Uh, isn't that my line? You're in my home. I'm gonna fill your tired heart full of lovely energy. Meow. I'm Becky. I have the pleasure of serving you today. Uh, nice to meow to you too, miss. We're going to get along so well. Meow. Oh my, how thoughtless of me. I should explain our services to you, master. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. But there are other services we provide, if you so desire. Hmm. You look young, master. <laughs> it's funny you mention that. Are you perhaps in high school? Um... Haven't heard that in a while. I'm actually a father of two. Don't tell my wife. <gasps> wow! Your skin's so healthy. Hmm. You're not lying to me, are you? Oh, crap. <laughs> mm. Mm, I'll wait to provide those other services until you matured a bit. Master. So... I'll be going now. Well, it's nice talking to you. Wh what? No! Uh, quiet! Uh, is someone there? Oh, crap. Well, it's over. Oh, no. Crap! Run, Mishima! Mishima? Sakamoto-kun? What? Uh, and you? Hey. You mm. look familiar. Did you request me specifically? What are you talking about? We've, we've uh, never met before, have we? <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh no, it's alright. How would you know me? This is our first meeting. Yes. The first time ever, Master. <sighs> this is unbelievable. You're telling me. Yes, it's me. Your homeroom teacher. I'm so done. I can't believe I got caught by some of my own students. Caught doing what? I should have taken a job outside of the city. But I need to get close to school so I could go there after I finished work. Hey! Who did you hear this from? Uh, a piece of paper? Oh, it was Miss Joona, wasn't it? That harpy. What? Miss Joona. The English teacher? Oh yeah, that one. She's been snooping on all the teachers ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Are you going to tell Miss Chuono about this? I don't... I don't even remember who that lady is, so that's all up to you, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> hey, if you're going to side with a teacher, side with me. I'm in charge of your class, after all. That makes sense. And if you promise not to tell Miss Chuono about this, I'll do anything for you. Can you help me with algebra? I know it's not your, like, class, but it's... <laughs> hey. It won't be any better for you if people find out that you called a maid service. It, are you slandering me? This isn't even your home address to begin with, is it? Guess you're at least thought about that. Well, I promise to keep it a secret, too. So why don't we both forget this ever happened? But I really need a maid. I'll treat this as if you'd cancelled, so you won't have to pay anything. Okay. On that note, I'll be leaving. Bye-bye. It's nice while well lasted. Don't say anything about this at school, okay? Just act as if nothing ever happened. Got it? Okay. Bye. That was the worst maid ever! Suddenly, I feel exhausted. I want to go home. God dang it, Mishima! Wait, was this even his idea to begin with? I don't frankly remember, but I feel like it was. Friggin' idiot! Whatever. Hello. Ah, it's you. Morning. Madarame is ill. 
but the exhibit is still going strong. I can't respect him as my sensei anymore. And it's sad to think I don't have a mentor anymore. Mm, yeah, that does suck. I'm here if you need someone to talk to, though, bro. I can be your sensei. Uh, talk to you? Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever had someone I could simply talk to. Well, perhaps I may need a sounding board sometime. I hope you'll humor me then. Yeah, man. If you're ever in the neighborhood, come on. Down to the blonde. We got coffee that tastes like water. Mixed with coffee. Isn't that all coffee that... What it? I'm not great at slogans. I wonder what Ryuji's do. Morgana, we're ignoring Ryuji, but... Wasn't there something going on with Kawakami? Something involving Showono? Not sure what's going on, but maybe we should ask her about it. She said not to talk about it at school, Morgana. She's probably still at school right now. Let's go look for her, because you always have to put <laughs> yourself into other people's business. So, yeah, this is a very interesting turn of events. I will not be commenting on it directly, because, well, hasn't even started yet. So, wow, look at that. Right on cue, Miss Trono, in a very strange stance. Miss Kawakami, I already know. What? Kawakami's been driven to a corner by Chuono. I must talk to her and see if we can help her out. Yeah, she's got... <laughs> Look at the stance. She's mad or something. Something is going on here. <sighs> What's going on? I want to know. It's my problem now. As I've been saying... Hey, get home safely. Well then, I have another matter to attend to. So, I have to excuse myself. No. We're not finished yet. Uh, what the... Cr <laughs> so... But I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We've all been called into question, and yet you leave work earlier than anyone. You barely make it to the faculty meetings. Dang. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Mm -hmm. Kawakami's being grilled by Chuono. Yummy. Wait, uh, she said she'd do anything if we helped her out. So let's clear up Chiona's suspicion. By lying. The school's closing soon. Head home before it gets too late. Or do you need something from Miss Kawakami? Yeah. I need something. Bad. Hey, can you help me this question? What? Uh, what? Uh, you have another question, do you? Another question? Uh, that's right. He has questions that are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. <laughs> So, you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours? Hmm? Not believable at all. What passion. You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what this school needs. I'm sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> she bought it? Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. Thanks. She just kind of convinced herself. <laughs> that did clear up her suspicion. So, thanks. Hey, could you come with me for a bit? I can't talk about this at school, but we are. And this is the address and phone number for my night job. What the? I got my teacher's phone number? Kind of? Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, though. Okay? Hey. Yeah. You did it. I did what? No call history means a public telephone. Let's call using LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami and you're free. Invite her to meet you at your room. Well. What the? Okay, got to go. Morgana, I don't know if I'm trying to be an adult. That, oh my, this part is so weird, but I guess we'll need energy for tonight though. So let's get some food. But no, seriously, we need a certain level of guts for tonight. And this is where we'll get the last little piece oh. of that. Over on Central Street, there's a nice little diner that's finished renovations and it's open again this is where you can get guts and also study a bit and just like where you study everyone else is if it's rainy outside you'll study better and you want to study yeah why the heck not it's a good place to get guts right though it's not really gutsy to order food yep. in my opinion but it's good we managed to find seats even if it is a bit crowded do we really need the booth though welcome may i take your order we added a new menu now that renovations are finished. Would you like this? I highly recommend the surprise sando and nostalgic steak. Uh, give me the sandwiches, please. If 
you'd be so kind. Got it. I'll be right back with your order. Huh. Sure does look good, but... Uh, yeah, it's probably actually tastes good, too. <laughs> I guess he wants a bite. Real? You scarf that down without hesitation. I'm overwhelmed by your guts. What the... Th th okay. You say so, buddy. But this will be the last point we need to reach level three guts. All right. Now we're staunch. Mm. Yes. Looks like you'll already get some studying done, too. <laughs> Even with all this noise. Yeah, yeah. Boy, oh boy, there's going to be a lot of studying coming up. But <laughs> I guess that's for later. Now we have to worry about the maid service. And boy, oh boy. Uh, the first time I played this game, I wasn't exactly sure what the big deal was with calling a maid. Read between the lines and you'll figure it out. But, uh, the cr what a Thieves' Den update. What the f- Anyways, this is the point where you will need a temperance persona. You don't necessarily need it for this first interaction. So if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. But moving forward, yeah. Gonna need Makami for this. And it's the public phone. Let's call the maid service now that we have the necessary guts. Thinking calling in a maid? Well, if you use this, you won't leave proof in your call history. This is all for the good of the Phantom Thieves, right? That's a stretch, but <laughs> if you say so, Hi. let's get it. Hi, this is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the request fee included. You know. Is that okay with you? Sure. This is why we needed so much money, by the way. She's not cheap, that's for sure. Very well. I'll head over right away then. She sounds excited. That's good. So, this is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. And in exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? Then it's a deal. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Ugh, what am I doing here with one of my students? I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? That's clearly not true. Come on, we know each other's secret, and it would put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh... I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. Just think about it, okay? 
For some reason, I feel like I did something very bad. All right, master. That'll be it for today. Ugh, God. You have no idea how exhausting this job is. I guess I don't. Listen, promise me you won't tell the school about this, okay? For both our sakes. Absolutely no talking about maid stuff to anyone. Got it. I'll be a little secret. Just for Becky and Master, okay? Can you keep a secret? Please just don't. Yeah. I will. Just don't do that face ever again. What? You're not even gonna play along? You're really killing me here. Uh, okay, just go. Well, I'm gonna head home. Be safe out there in that outfit. Oh, and don't forget to study for your exams, okay? If you waste all your time playing around, your grades will suffer. Uh, Bye. see you later. Just, it's like an on and off switch with this lady. God dang. I feel like I need to take a cold shower. It's not because what you, whatever. Oh yeah, the cleanup event the day after tomorrow. My class has to go in the opposite direction of Inakashira Park. I'm kind of looking forward to it. That honor student's actually in my group. <laughs> uh, what is she like? Your type or something? Either way, too bad. I hear honor students are exempt from the cleaning. Totally unfair, am I right? What? That's horse cr I mean, that's cool for them. So, am I alone on a team of upperclassmen then? <sighs> this sucks. I want to just ditch. Hey, man. Kans ain't going to pick themselves up, but... Yeah, it is kind of a pain. What are you gonna do? I don't know if you guys ever had to do crap like that. I kind of actually think back to the day we had a, hey, let's clean up the school day. It was just a bunch of my friends just not really doing our objective. It was a very distinct feeling of camaraderie. I don't know if other schools had anything similar like that. If I look back fondly on that day, the day where nothing was accomplished and Boy, it sucks being stuck inside this bag. I wish I could take Lady On out to do something. Hey, great idea, Morgana. Let's do that, but you're not invited. Hey, On. Be honest? Am I actually getting stronger? I've been working really hard, but I haven't noticed any change. It takes five to seven months, On. But anyway, would you mind hearing me out? Are you free today? <laughs> I don't think she's talking about lifting weights. Yeah, let's hang out with On today. Thanks. Then I'll see you at Inakashira Park. That's where we're going tomorrow, though. What the? There's the day after tomorrow. I don't remember, but... No, oh, look at those ducks over there. It must be a family. Hmm. This place is seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya. It feels so different here. Yeah. It's kind of nice. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there's still duck-filled parks here too. It has everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. <laughs> it's honestly kind of scary. Yeah, there's also apparently giant heaps of trash, but I kind of get what you mean. I'm new around here. All right, you only just moved here, huh? Weep, my bad. <laughs> when I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded and everyone walks really fast. Almost like they're angry or something. <laughs> Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me. They just spread rumors. That sucks. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I had been considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said to me was, Sakamiki-san, so your paintings suck. <laughs> That's pretty relatable. Something like that happened with my friends, too. It's kind of funny. I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. <laughs> According to her, they were so bad she just had to tell me. Pretty mean, huh? Yeah, kind of. Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me without mentioning my looks. It's kind of nice. We sort of just grew closer after that. 
and Chiho's been my best friend ever since. Mm, that's not why we're here, though. Oh yeah, training. And there's something else I need to talk to you about. Hey. Do you remember what I told you the last time we came here? I thought I was the one talking last time. <laughs> about that female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Uh, alright. What is it? What's your aim here? <laughs> it's gonna knock your socks off. Um. Uh-huh. You know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Uh, yeah. Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must have really solid hearts. And that's why I'm gonna try and learn from them. Makes sense. Just don't start talking about world domination, okay? <laughs> right. So, I've decided. Uh-huh. Where's this going? I'm gonna star in action movies. That's... Admirable, actually. Go for it. Good luck. You'll need it, because that's a tough job to get. Thanks. Your support really helps. I was being sarcastic. Uh, all right. I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I've never really thought much about what I wanted to do in life. But now I have an objective. Thanks. And that's only happened because of talking to you. Thanks. Aw. She has a new goal to strive for. On to Kamaki, action star. Coming this summer to Common Rider season whatever they're on, and we learned sexy technique. Ooh, it's overpowered. In my opinion, having on in your party just pff, wants you to do crap for free. It's kind of nice if you're this rank, but. Well, if I want to be in action movies, I'll need to work on my actions. I wonder how many setups I'll have to do. Oh, God. Wait, Ryuji knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to tell Shiho that I have a new goal. Yeah, about that gym, though. That place stanky. So I'll definitely be happy to hear that. Yeah. Come on, let's head Come on, let's jog to the station? She's really fired up about fitness. I admire that. But no, seriously, the sit-up thing, that's... Don't, don't start with those. Just... Whatever. I'm so obnoxious about the gym, but... Hi, it's me. You good to talk right now? I guess. So, I'd like to think I'm pretty athletic. Like, I don't hate exercise or anything. But I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe I've got to train my body along with my heart. Do you have anything to train your body? Uh... Yeah, I train every day. 24-7, actually. <laughs> so that's pretty much your lifestyle, huh? You don't, like, do squats in class or anything, right? <laughs> I never actually sit on the chair, on. That's the trick. My thighs are hurting just thinking about it. Okay. First, I need to research what kind of training's best for me. For now, I'll just do curls with a water bottle. I already drank it halfway, but that's better than nothing, right? <laughs> God. Well, see you later. She's so, she's so adorable. I'm, no, I meant admirable. Yeah, there we go. She's just wanting to better herself. I think that's kind of cool. Wait a second, who the frick texted me? I sh what? What? Why did you go through all this trouble if you didn't want a record? What? Hey, it's Becky, your provider of comfort. I need to ask you, can you request me? The request to is 5,000 yen, but I promise I'll do a good job. God dang it. Yeah, come on over. But now there's a record of this. I Isn't this why we're using the phone? Whatever. Kind of immersion breaking, but... What? Really? You request me? Okay, I'll be sure to make your room absolutely spotless today. Be there soon. Hey, Sojuro, you gotta, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> you gotta go. I got, got someone coming over. I love cleaning sh... I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'll happily be covered in dust. Uh -huh. But then doesn't it pain your heart to see a cute maid all dirty? I... I guess? I mean, it sucks for your uniform. <laughs> Aw, Master! Even though your room is messy, your heart is so clean. What? I'll go ahead and get this over with then. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, it looks exactly the same. 
This will do right. Keep it a little messy for that shabby chic feel. You know. I don't actually. <laughs> and now cleaning is complete. Cool. Now what are you do? Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm not allowed to work overtime during weekdays. So I rush to my part-time job after class ends. My God, are you okay? On my off days, I have to prepare pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I have to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this room smells like a cat. I feed a lot of strays around my house. Hey, that's cool. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you'd actually would. I mean, it's mutual benefit, right? You weren't expecting to do anything weird with me, were you? Hey, you're the one in my bed right now. Nah, I really just need help cleaning, please. As long as you understand. I know I'm a maid outfit and all, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I try not to get too involved with my students, so you're doing an awful job at that. I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. What the? I need to sleep too! Move over! Oh my gosh, she's the worst. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, do you know of any part-time jobs that pay well? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. Well, let me know if you do. Uh, Kawakami, why do you need so much money if you're already a teacher? What's going on? Well, uh... You know. It's for my little sister. Dang. She's so sick, I need money to pay her medical expenses. That's a bummer. Sorry to hear that. Oh, she's on the phone. Hello? Yes, I made the transfer. What? Uh, not enough, but it was the same amount as last week. I... No, no. Yes, I understand. Okay, goodbye. Well, this is awkward again. Uh, wrong number. What? Hey, sorry to ask this out of the blue, but... Do you happen to have 100,000 yen I could borrow? Um, technically I do, but... Wait, never mind. Only one of my students' money would be the worst. Why do you need that much? Well, you may have some money, but be mindful how you spend it. Shouldn't be wasting it on maid services like this. Uh, I don't think it's a waste at all. I just wanted to see you, Becky. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. What do you mean by that? I did warn you. The rest is your responsibility. You're a high schooler, after all. Gotcha. Say no more. I can sense Kawakami's trust in me. I don't know what she means by further, but we'll just worry about that later. The Temperance Arcana has reached level two, and it's only gonna get better. Seriously, this confidant's amazing. Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. You can just call me whatever. Okay. Kawakami left, and yet again, no matter how much I scrub, I feel dirty. But hey, she wants to call us again? Oh, is this master? Thank you for using our services today. Don't mention it, please, ever. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, master? Jesus Christ, woman, you got it. You... God, what, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> What? What's wrong? Little old Becky's just working hard so she gets to see her master again. Okay. What are you playing at? <sighs> Sorry, part of the job. Okay. 
And this is driving me insane, so I'm just going to drop the sales talk. <sighs> uh, crap, manager's coming. <laughs> Better get at it again. Well, well, I hope you will question me again sometime. Bye-bye. That's just embarrassing. I guess she's doing it for her sister. Makes sense. Oh my god, that vile woman. What does she want? Who could it be at this hour? Kawakami, you gotta chill, girl. Hey, Mishima's real fired up about finding our next big targ. <laughs> but some tells me he's just gonna get himself in trouble. Uh, maybe we should go with him? Ah, that sounds like a pain. He said he was going to Harajuku. I bet on no, too. Gonna hurt, right? Uh, yeah, so sometimes people will text you right before you're going to bed about plans. Don't feel obligated, though. You can turn them down when you feel like it, or, you know what, just never reply. Lady Aunt's going. I, I mean, uh, uh, fine, no big deal. We could we could do that. But you still don't know Tokyo very well. This might be a good chance to get more familiar with the area. Or something. True. So, we hang out with Ryuji Harajuku? Mm, I'll think about it in the morning. Putting it off for now, huh? Don't forget to respond. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. But yeah, we're totally not going. The last thing we did with Mishima... And Ryuji, let's be honest, it wasn't very delightful, but... Boy, it sucks being a... Oh my god, we're gonna shut the frick up. Well, By the way, the TV... Oh my god, what is wrong with you? You freaking cat. How much is the TV station paying you? My god. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Are you as uncomfy as I am? Or did you enjoy it and fantasize about it? Because... <laughs> I'm not shaming, but boy, you... <laughs> okay. See you guys next time with more Persona 5 Royal. Believe it or not, the change of heart should be starting rather soon since it's only seven days left on the thing. And spoiler warning, that's, that's when it's going to happen. Because if you didn't change the heart, you get a game over. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.